put my new mascara, uh, the La Patin. And what do you think? It's nice. Just yesterday when I put it for the first time, it was smudging. So let's see today. Because that's not good for the price, for this price. Just much. But otherwise the effect is really good. It's really, they make them so long. We are arriving in 10 minutes. It was a quick one. It was like 40 minutes uh, train journey. We got ready. Okay guys, we arrived to Bordeaux. Train station and now we find we want to find the center. We just passed the lycée which is a high school. It's so nice, the building. Cool. We have still have to... How long we have to walk? 10 minutes, right? Another 10 minutes to be in the center. Whew. So we arrived in this uh, center. I don't know how you call it. How you call this place? Place de la Bourse. Place de la Bourse. Look at that. What is here? I have no idea. So beautiful. It's massive here. It's hot today. I mean, it's nice, it's pleasant, no? Yeah. And uh, let me show you. Well, yeah. I'll show you my face. Look at that. We are looking for a place to sit and drink and eat and relax. Because we walked quite a lot. We are not used to walking anymore. No. So, yeah, let's find something somewhere nice. Here, record. Okay, so we are in the terrace. Is there a red light here? Yeah. So we stop for a bite. I'm gonna have salad um, and some like um, some vegetables, roasted vegetables or grilled, grilled. I think. They're. And this is French life. Well, Bordeaux. How did you say Bordeaux? Bordeaux. Bordeaux. Bordeaux life. Like you would say Parisian, but Bordeaux. Busy the terraces everywhere. That's my food today. And the Nikas Calzon, I got a burrata salad. We're just wandering around Bordeaux to discover stuff. We want to know this town quite well. We will come a few times here because it's pretty. Shame it's not sunny today because we'll, the place would have looked like brighter and nicer. But we found a mall. A tiny mall in here. Hello, excuse moi. What can we see in here? Probably it's not a lot, huh? It's a little bit. The posh part of Bordeaux because <laughs> we have Hermes here. We have Vuitton down there and you have nice terraces everywhere and it's lovely. Look in there. We have a park here and we're just wondering, I don't know where we're going but we're just walking everywhere. So much to see here. Cinema. Yeah. Oh, I like this road. What's that signature there? Parfour? Is that the mall? Yeah. So glad I'm here, France. Thank you. Oh, it's green. Let's see. 
so nice to walk around and visit and go and have coffees and do facon. Yeah. Ooh. Ah, it's so gorgeous here. If I knew what this means. The war thing? Oh, we need to Google it, I guess. We came here unprepared. We just found an antique fair. Oh my god, we are so happy because we love antiques. And it's like massive, massive. Is the river? The Garon River? Yeah. Massive. And this antique fair, it's amazing. It's twice a year and you find anything you can imagine if you like antiques. We are so happy we found it because I heard about this this fair and I always wanted to come and we just got it by chance. So it's it's great. Wow. I'm so so impressed with this. Everybody's selling all amazing, unusual, cool stuff, like proper stuff, you know? Yeah. Oh, look at these columns. Oh, and with, especially with the houses in here in France, you know, the style, there a lot of things go so well. Oh. So we stopped for a coffee. I have, I ordered a coffee. I didn't drink a coffee in eight months and it feels weird, but at the same time, it doesn't feel like, oh, I had this, such a big gap of not drinking coffee, which is, yeah, weird. It feels like I never stopped. And I got a double espresso, which is super strong, so I'm gonna be like, ooh, hyper. Look at that. So beautiful here, it's central but it's kind of hidden, so we found this kind of, it's not square, it's like a circle going around with a lot of streets around, also pretty here, and so many nice shops. Nick, say something to the camera. To concentrate. Hello again in day two. Yesterday, as you've seen, I've been to Bordeaux. We took the train from Marmont, which is like 40, 45 minutes, 50 minutes. I don't even, I don't even realize because it went so fast. So we took the train, it's a fast train to Bordeaux. So the journey was very pleasant. I was so surprised to see that um, there was gendarmerie in the train, which in a way it felt so safe, but in the same time feels scary because like, you think, oh, it's kind of danger can happen, but what world we live in, you know? <clears throat> it's so scary and so sad in the same time. I love that city, the vibe, it's so young, the terraces are full of young people. I thought the average age there was probably 20 years old on some terraces. They are all so young, but it's such a nice vibe. I think it's because they have great universities, they have international university, um, so it's a lot of young vibes so the town is just vibrating and it's it feels just just lively and good and you don't feel like you, it's any covid in there or it's been any covid it's just great I just love that atmosphere so we plan to go again because we loved it a lot you know good food uh, nice to sit outside great shops a lot of sightseeing uh, we found this amazing antique market it's there until next monday so we are planning to go again uh, next Monday probably because uh, we would like to see that market properly. Yesterday was closed, it was just for the trades. I think today is for the trades and then it's open in the weekend, it's open for the public. Uh, but it was, was amazing because that that um, market fair happens twice a, twice a year. It's very popular and I feel like everybody comes there and sells their things and there's so things that you will never find anywhere else they are good quality stuff you know good heavy massive wood um, 
proper furniture like I love it you know in these big houses in in France they just match perfectly so I would like to go again and um, obviously I, I need to buy something smaller because we don't have if you if you want to buy something big you have to go there with the van load which we don't have that in the moment but we know in the future they are there and we, we're gonna go prepared when we move into the new house and we will need more things then we're gonna do it properly even then until then i'm sure i can find things that i will love i mean you can you can tell i like antiques i mean look at this chair this chair i will never find anywhere else just if it can be done like you know like new issue new version but it's not gonna be the same i feel like this this chair is like the queen seat <laughs> it's just I love it and now I think I will never sell it actually. I was at some point thinking, yeah, let, oh, maybe I should sell it. No, <laughs> I should never sell it. It's just gorgeous and all these details and even though the paint comes off and I'm sure I can do the paint, I can redo it. So I saw amazing mirrors, massive, beautiful, all in gold, we'll go with these chairs. It's, it's just like, it's like killing you basically. It's just like, wow. Even though I like modern and I love luxurious modern, uh, look as well, but to me it's, it's, it's luxurious antics. To me, it, how it, it screams of uh, you know gold wealth. Um, you have space. It's big. It's not like nowadays chairs are small or armchairs. You know they're much smaller. This chair is very wide. Anything luxury, you know, I like. Uh, when it comes to beauty, when it comes to clothes, when it comes to furniture, when it comes to lifestyle, anything like that. I just love. Of course, I cannot afford all the luxury as I wish, but uh, this is what I like. And uh, if I can, I will. Even though if I have to save money for something more luxurious, I will do, and I will buy it. Then buy cheaper things that they don't last. They're trash, and if you, after you wear them, I have trash clothes. Don't get me wrong. I I buy in cheap shops as well, just to invest in good pieces, even if I have less. Um, I don't mind to get good quality pieces and then wear them all over again you know a lot of times and have the best use of them because if you think they are so expensive but then if you use them a lot and you wear them a lot then per wear will be like so much cheaper you know so and the quality when you wash them compared to cheaper clothes like I have so many clothes that I washed and they just gone like uh, ruined you know like they didn't look good the material is crap about luxury and things um, I said yesterday I think I mentioned to you that I use this um, Le Baton uh, mascara this is super bloody expensive uh, I bought it a few months ago uh, this was uh, around 56 pounds maybe 60 euros something like that anyway it's so expensive like 70 dollars so it's I think it's the most expensive mascara I don't know if there's a more expensive one on the market but this one is so expensive and everybody's like talking about it like it's so amazing and everything so I said okay let me wear it and then I will do a proper review I will do a video about it because I've seen on uh, uh, YouTube that some people already had um, made some, a lot of reviews about it but I've seen two videos only which they said um, they just opened the bottle and they use it and they give a review after the first use so I'm thinking uh, I want to do a review after I use it several times I think you can tell more about the product than just first use. For me, first use is never doesn't give me uh, the f the best the final result. So I have to definitely wear it more and then let you know. But this is today I wore it. I don't have makeup. I just did skincare and I feel a bit. I don't have makeup because I'm waiting for the sun. Maybe I'll go later, tan a little bit because you know I'm obsessed and I, I feel like so pale in the camera which I don't know why, because I don't feel like I'm that pale in reality. Uh, yeah, so uh, I'm not going to put makeup, but I put um, just a bit of mascara. And if you can tell, um, they are so long and so nice. So, yes, uh, I'm not going to say more about this um, today, but I want you to know that I'm going to come with a video about this because it's very interesting. I bought for me only two bras which was not a lot I, I plan to buy more but I, I you know I went to H&M for example which I buy you know clothes from there and sometimes I find kind of cool stuff um, so I went there and 
it was so big. I think the biggest H&M I ever seen. Seriously, it was like massive. And when you go in shops like this and it's so busy, I don't, just don't have the patience to stay and look through all the clothes. So I was like, oh, I can't be asked. But I went for my son, so I bought a few things for him and then we queued like for 20 minutes and I was like oh my god like they are so slow here I'm like, they take their time you know there's no rush and I'm like you just want to push someone you know go and just help us you know we want to go we don't want to queue for 20 when I said Nick said never again he would never go in H&M again which I don't blame him um, or just better buy online and yesterday I've got this uh, candle holder, which I like, and I I feel like, why did I buy just one? I should have bought two, you know, it's to be kind of like a set. It was so cheap, like £10. Uh, is this brand, uh, Villa Ryan Bosch. I like this candle holder, I just want to, I just want to have uh, on my cabinet there more things like decorations. And uh, I saw this one and uh, I said, oh, it's so pretty. But definitely I need another one, I just know, I don't know, or more, more of house stuff. Uh, lately, that's why I didn't really have time to vlog, because I got so busy with clients, I have more and more work here, uh, it's quite popular I think, people start to know about me, uh, about doing beauty treatments, so because of that I feel like I have to, you know, it just takes my time of filming. Um, but every time I have a chance, I will just film. I try to be consistent, but I just sometimes I just can't. So thank you for watching this video and uh, hope to see you in my next one. Thank you. Bye.